What's going on guys, Matt Everett here, and today I'm going to be installing my custom Lethal Camaro 3rd brake light. Now, uh, Fast Tech Performance did provide me with this logo as a surprise. Awesome. Thank you, Ricardo and Jason. Love you guys for that. Um, just something pretty cool to put on your car, make it more unique. I don't know if they're going to be offering them with custom lettering, uh, but it definitely seems like something they might be able to do. I don't know what it costs, but they do sell ones that say Camaro. They do have regular black ones and all that stuff at a pretty cheap price at FastTechPerformance.com. Um, so there's the shameless plug for that, but uh, let's go ahead and install this and uh, see how it looks on the car Okay guys for this I for this install. It's pretty straightforward and pretty simple one You want to make sure you have a perfectly clean surface So in doing that you want to make sure that there's no wax no sealants No nothing on this or your decal is not going to stick very well The other side of it is you do need a few items uh, for install you can use a squeegee of sorts. I have one that has a little cloth on the end. Um, you will need a soapy water solution. So in this instance, I basically filled up this much water. I put a couple drops of uh, non-Dawn dish soap, shook it up and have a good solution and just sprayed the bottle a few times to make sure the soapy solution is what's coming out of the bottle, just regular water. The other side is just have a nice cloth for cleaning, so in this instance, I'm using one of my microfiber towels. So I am actually gonna pop my trunk and I'm gonna use two towels because I wanna catch all of the water coming off because I did just recently clean my car and I don't want it uh, getting too, too messed up and dirty. So there you go, make it so I don't get too much uh, soapy water all over my car. So that being said, one of the other things that you can use, and you don't have to use this, but this is something that will allow you to allow the decal to set up that much quicker. Um, but this is a heat gun. You can also use a blow dryer. Um, the joys of a heat gun is they usually come with adapters and you can focus the heat. But just keep in mind when you're applying it, you wanna apply it and keep a good movement. You don't want any one area getting too hot over the other areas. But let's get right on into the install. So my first task is get my uh, area that I'm gonna be working with wet. Again, I already cleaned it. <clears throat> so you will wanna get your decal peeled off. You'll spray that down. What I'm doing is I'm just right now looking at all the edges and make sure I have everything lined up about as close as you can get it aligned. I think it's about as lined up as I'm going to get it. So I'm just going to warm it up a little bit, see if I can get it to flex over the light now. line up higher than on the lower side. Now the trick part is going to be peeling off the main design and getting that to stick appropriately. These A's are not being friendly. Meth 
to mess with the A and the... Oh, I just lost the O. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it here in a second. What is that, A? And the O. So at this point, I just want to make sure everything's laying flat. At this point, you can see the, the black is wrapped around the edge. Let's see where it's kind of flexing where the uh, decal actually hits the center point, but there's nothing the heat gun can't knock down. So again, we're just going to warm it up, not too hot, but just enough to get it to final flex. You can see as it gets warm, it's wanting to lay down. those remaining air bubbles out. I've applied the heat. This decal's pretty much stuck on there. There's still a few little bumps. I'm gonna work on those and we'll work them out. Again, letting it sit for a little bit will definitely help, but in general, that's basically the full install. I did have a little, it was a little tricky with the A's, and of course the brake light won't turn on unless I go hit my brakes. So I'm gonna go do that and show you guys what it looks like. There you guys have it. That is the install for the third brake light for your 2016-2017 Camaro. It's a very simple project, regardless if you have one that says Lethal Camaro, whether it's plain black or 1LE or Camaro. Just know that some of the ones that do have writing can be a little more challenging in regards to peeling off the A's and the O's and stuff like that, because they do have centerpieces that you have to line up, and if you don't get them lined up after right off the peel, uh, you have to do it by hand and eye. I wasn't perfect, but I think mine are pretty close. But either or, uh, thanks for joining me in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. Help support the channel. If not, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. Check out Lethal merchandise down below in the description. And as always, thanks for joining me. And until next time, I'll see you on the road.